Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new game called Biotics. This is a game that was put out by Smirk and Dagger Games. It is a 2 to 5 player competitive game, and it takes roughly 20 to 30 minutes to play. So the backstory to this is that each player is playing a lab assistant that is trying to grow the most fruitful biotic petri dish. On top of that, they're also trying to stop the other players from being successful in their endeavors to grow the most fruitful petri dish. So players are going to achieve this by playing biotics that they're going to pull from a bag onto their own petri dish or onto other pe players' petri dishes in hopes of causing bioreactions, which is basically that each petri dish can only hold a certain number of each of the color of biotics. And once that, that number is uh, goes over, it causes a bioreaction, and each one of those biotics is going to react differently to that bioreaction. So my opinions of this game have been very positive so far. I think this Merkin Dagger does an excellent job of balancing str their strategy elements with the backstabbing elements to get a really nice blend where neither thing overshadows one or the other. And I've had a good time playing with my, my friends so far. This is a super fast game, and I think that it's really good for both families and gaming groups as it's a very good filler game, it goes really quick, and the rulebook is done in such a way that it really explains everything very well, and uh, there isn't a lot of rules to it, so it, it's very easy to pick up on. The uh, Even for younger kids, I think, would have no problem picking this one up very fast. So as far as negatives are concerned, I don't really think there are very many, unless, like I said, unless your, your gaming group isn't big into competitive or backstabbing games. If they don't really like that, then this one might not be for you. But other than that, uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Have you guys played this? Are you interested in this? Has this one been on your radar? Do you? How, what are your guys' opinions of Smirk and Dagger or uh, games like this? I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking, as I'd like to turn this into a more of a conversation. So please consider leaving those comments in the comments section below and let me know your guys' thoughts. So let's go ahead and head to the table, and I'll teach you guys how to play. Let's take a quick look at the player board and quick reference guide. So at the beginning of the game, each player is going to receive a player board and the players are going to share the quick reference guides. Depending upon the number of players that you're playing in your game, you want to make sure that both the player board and the quick reference guide are on that number of players. So for this game, it is a two to four player dashboard and quick reference. And on the back side of both of these are the five player version. Then for each player board, each player board is going to be broken down into different sections. We have the spot for the clock, which you guys will see in a little bit, depending upon which player is controlling that. And then each player has their own Petri dish, which will hold the different biotic colors. And that's where you'll place them when you place them in your Petri dish. And then on the side is a quick reference for the points that each of those is worth at the end of that round. There are six different biotics included in the game. We have Migratory, Attractive, Magnetic, Repulsive, Explosive, and Aggressive. We also have one timer that's included in the game, and the first time you play a game, you're going to also want to add the stickers to each of the biotics. If you're playing a standard game, then you're going to remove the aggressive biotics from, from the play, and depending upon the number of players, if you're playing a 3-5 to five player game, you will include all of the biotics of each color, so 8 total of each color. If you're playing a 2 player game, then you will simply remove one biotic of each color. If you do want to play the advanced mode rules, then you will include the black biotics in the same number as the rest of the biotics. So in a 3-5 to five player game, you'll include 8. In a 2 player game, you'll include 7. Once you've determined what type of game you're going to play and if you're going to use the advanced biotics or not, then you'll simply add all the biotics to the bag. So for our game, we're not going to use the black ones initially, so we'll go ahead and add the rest of these to the bag. From there, you can go ahead and mix up all the biotics in the bag and place them out in the middle of the table. Then each player will receive their own player dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and play a three-player game, so we'll set that up. From here, then you can also put out quick reference guides for the players. Then we're going to make the biocontainment box, which is the bottom of the game box with the biocontainment lid on top of it. And I like to leave it cracked so you can easily put your trash biotics in there. From here, then we're going to choose the starting player. And the easiest way I found to do that is to empty the biotic bag 
ends to go ahead and place one of the different colors for each player that's playing and then choose one of them. So we'll go ahead and say the player that draws the blue will be the first player. Mix it up and have each player draw one. And so obviously our player over here is the first player, so they'll get the timer, and the timer will go on the number three slot in a two to four player game. From there, we'll put the rest of the biotics back in the bag, mix them up, and hand the bag to the starting player, who is going to go ahead and perform their turn. A player's turn is broken into two steps. The first step is procurement, where they're going to draw two biotics from the bag. So our player over here is the starting player, so let's go ahead and do that. And so he's got a blue and a red. From here then he moves into step two, which is placement. One at a time, he's going to place the biotic that he drew in any order that he chooses. For each that he does, he's going to either place it in his petri ditch, matching the color of the biotic, or he's going to give it to an opponent to place in theirs. From there, then, he, before he resolves the next one, he is going to check to see if placing that biotic causes a bioreaction, which means that you're going to have more than of that color than the number of slots in your Petri dish or an opponent's. So, for example, if we place our blue, if we ha would have had three additional blues in here, which means that we have more than the number of slots, then we would trigger a bioreaction and resolve the effects of that that are listed on the quick reference guide. And a bioreaction can happen at any time during any player's turn. And when it happens, you're going to resolve it in a clockwise order. So if multiple bioreactions have been triggered by different players, then you're going to resolve those in clockwise order. So our player has placed his first one, and then he will place the second one. At that point, then he will pass the bag to the next player to take their turn. So again, that player will start out by drawing from the bag. And he draws a blue and a purple. So he's going to place the purple in his bag, and he's going to give the blue to this player who will place it in their slot. Moving over to the next player then, we'll pass the bag again, and they'll take their turn. They have a blue and a green. So they're going to go ahead and place those in their Petri dish. And we'll move over to the next player. So when the player that has the time counter gets the bag to take their turn, each time they're going to move that time counter done down one space. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead a couple turns, and we'll come back a little bit later in the game. Okay, so he's going to add the green to his area, and then he's going to pass the yellow to our player over here. So our player over here will have to place it, and it has, we have more yellows than we're, we have slots for, so it's going to cause a bioreaction. So with the explosive, it says that we're going to trash our explosive and give away three of our other biotics. So we will trash the explosive that we have, and then we have to give away three of the other biotics that we have. So we're going to go ahead and give each player one, so they'll add those to their areas. And then we will give the last one to our player over here, who will then trigger a bioreaction for the blues, which with the migratory, it says that we're going to give one migratory in our Petri dish to each player and trash the remainder. So the other players will receive one apiece, and then these two will be trashed. So that is his turn, so we'll pass it over to our player here, who is going to remove the timer as it has left his petri dish and will be placed in the bag and mixed up. Oh wow, so he drew two yellows. So he's going to take one, and he'll go ahead and give one to our player over here. So again, that player is going to trigger a bioreaction, so he'll trash the two yellow explosives and then he has to give away three of his biotics. So he's going to give away the two blues. He'll give one here and one there. And he will give away one of the greens to our player down here, who has four greens now, which is going to cause a repulsive bioreaction. So it says you're going to trash your repulsives, 
and one more of your biotics. So he'll lose all of those. And so our player will pass the bag over to our player here. Has a red and a purple. So he's gonna place one there and he's gonna add that to that area. Moving back to our starting player, he's gonna draw from the bag. Doing very well, so he's gonna add the purple and he will add a green. He'll pass the bag to our next player who drew the purple and the timer. So when the timer is drawn from the bag, that will end the current day immediately and any uh, biotics that were pulled with it will be trashed. That player will add that timer to their track on the highest number. So with the two to four player game, it'll be added to the three slot. And then the players will move into scoring. So moving into the scoring phase now, each player is going to total up their biotics based on the points on the side of their board. So for example, our player over here has one purple magnetic biotic for 10 points and two attractive biotics that are worth three points apiece. So he has a total of 16 points for this day. So you can go ahead and grab a pen and paper and mark that down as you're going to track the scores for three days to complete the game. And our player over here has 10, 20, 23 points. And finally, our player over here who did really well has 15, 20, 30, 36, and four for 40 points. So he did really well. Once the players have scored their points and the player, one player has written them all down, then each player is going to choose two of their biotics to trash. So our player here is going to go ahead and trash those two. He is going to go ahead and trash his two purples and he will trash these. From there, then all the trash biotics will be added back to the bag for the start of the new day. And at that point, then the player who has the timer can go ahead and start the next day. Now there's a couple of things I'd like to cover real quick. The first are the black aggressive biotics, which is an advanced option to play with. If you choose to play with it, depending upon the number of players, you're going to include the same number of black biotics in the bag as you would any of the other colors. When a black biotic is drawn, it is either going to be placed in your petri dish or another player's, just like you would any other time. The one difference is that the black biotics do not play well with others, so they're going to take the place of a biotic that is in your petri dish. So let's go ahead and say that our player over here is going to be the starting player this turn and draws from the bag. They happen to pull a green and a black, so again they would choose the order which they would resolve those, so they're going to go ahead and take the green, and the, the black they can either place in their petri dish or in other players, so they're going to give it to the other player. So that player is going to place it in their black slots, and then their, this uh, aggressive biotic is going to move into their petri dish and take the place of one of the other biotics of their choice. When it does, so obviously you would want to choose one that is the least amount of points. So we're going to do a migratory. So it will take the place of that one. That particular biotic will be trashed. And now the, this black aggressive biotic will act like a migratory biotic. So if we have three additional biotics for the migratory, then it will cause a bioreaction and will be part of that reaction. And just like anything else. Now, when you're choosing biotics, a black biotic, an aggressive biotic, can never take the place of another aggressive biotic that's already in there. So if we already had this guy here and we had another one that came in, we could not choose to have him swap and discard. It would have to go with another biotic. And, for example, if we had no biotics in our Petri dish and we received a black, we would choose the slot that we would like it to go into. So we could add it to any of the slots of our choice. Now the other rule I'd like to cover, as you guys notice down in the scoring, there's a Eureka Paradox that's listed. So I'd like to go into detail about that. So if at the end of the second day, a player is 20 points or more behind the leading player, they can do a side research. These players are going to write down a biotic species and a number from 1 to 3 and place that paper underneath their board. 
At the end of the third day, if they have the exact number of the named biotic, then they are going to gain 30 points or 25 in a five player game. From there, like I said, the, you're gonna go three days, so you're gonna do this process three times, and at the end of the day, the third day, you're going to add up all your points, including the ones from the previous two days, and the player that has the most points will be the winning player for that game. Well, I hope that gave you guys a good idea how the game plays. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like what I do, if you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel as it really does make a big difference for me. It helps me to bring new games to the table and to stay motivated to bring all these awesome videos to you guys. And like I talked about at the beginning, please uh, consider commenting on this video if you guys if you guys have played this, if you like this game, if you, you know, your different opinions on the game, as I really want to start getting feedback from you guys on the different games that I'm showing off as well. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I do really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and to leave me comments. And as always, I will see you guys next time.